with this week's health and nutrition news. Researchers have created an experimental cancer treatment using an unlikely ingredient, the measles virus. You know, people would think that this is bizarre, but it's actually right where science is these days, and it's extremely exciting. We're using the immune system and viruses to attack cancer. This treatment was tested on six patients suffering from a rare form of blood cancer. Basically, each person was injected with large amounts of lab-engineered measles virus, and guess what? Some of the patients actually got better. One patient's cancer disappeared completely. Scientists are now trying to figure out why this treatment worked for some people and not for others. This treatment is a long way from being ready for public use, but it is definitely a step in the right direction. <laughs> what if a medication could increase your lifespan and make you smarter? Well, scientists have recently discovered a protein in our bodies that might do just that. You know how they say that we can only access 20% of our brain? This lets you access all of it. Scientists were running tests on a protein in our bodies called Clotho to find out if it protects the brain against aging. They discovered that Clotho does not protect the brain from aging, but what they did find is that people with high levels of this protein are generally more intelligent than people with low levels. I also put an advanced Fourier system on the main hallway chalkboard. And I'm hoping that one of you might prove it by the end of the semester. Scientists now hope to use Clotho to develop medicine that can increase brain power and fight diseases that affect brain functions, like the memory-damaging Alzheimer's disease. You called me a week ago. He called me, okay? Rodents may not seem like superheroes, but creatures like mice and naked mole rats may hold the secret to saving human lives all across the world. <laughs> Your superhuman strength has set me free at last. According to researchers, a special protein in mouse blood can reverse brain and muscle aging, while naked mole rat cells have a special molecule that makes them cancer-proof. Scientists are now working on a way to use this information to save human lives everywhere. Eight years ago, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, launched a program to build futuristic artificial limbs for veterans. And it has wrists on it. And this is all controlled purely by two muscles, one on the outside and one on the inside of the arm. They teamed up with a company called DECA Research and Development Corporation to produce the DECA Arm System and it's the first prosthetic arm of its kind to be approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. You know, it almost felt like it was a part of me. And that's the truth. The DECA arm system is nicknamed Luke after the Star Wars character Luke Skywalker, who loses his hand and gets a robotic one. Luke is attached with sensors that connect to muscles and read signals sent from the brain, similar to how a real arm moves. Wow, how cool is that? There are many theories behind why we yawn. Some people think it's because we're tired, bored, or even because we saw someone else doing it. <sighs> A new study from the University of Vienna says we yawn because our brains are too hot. Scientists studied people from Arizona and Austria during the winter and summer. They found that yawning patterns didn't depend on age, gender, or hours of sleep. The researchers said it was the temperature that made people yawn. In fact, a temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit caused the most yawns. <laughs> 